Hello, I'm Kimberly and it's cocktail time. Today I'm super excited because I have the cool privilege of being able to film this video at Malahat Spirit Company in San Diego. Malahat Spirit Company is a small batch distillery that specializes in handcrafted spirits. They're award winning. Some of my favorite spirits here at Malahat are their ginger rum and their spiced rum. And I really think that if you have a chance to get down here and try it out, you definitely should. This is their tasting room. And like I said, I'm super excited to be able to make cocktails for you here. So let's get started. Today, I want to introduce something a little new, a little different. I know I typically do vintage cocktails and I promise to get back to that, but some new trend has really caught my eye this year in the cocktail world. And I just wanted to share it with you. And I think it's fun and I think you're gonna enjoy making these drinks this summer. And that is, jam-based cocktails. Jam, you may be thinking, yes, jam, like the jelly that you get at your grocery store or you put on your PB&J. Now, it may seem a little odd, and it did to me too when I saw this. I was like, huh, why would you use jam in a cocktail? But actually, using jam in a cocktail is really smart because it does two functions. First, it operates as a sweetener. Secondly, it adds complex fruit flavor to your drink. So you have a flavor agent and a sweetener in one ingredient, which we all know when making cocktails, you want to get to your drink quickly. You don't want to have 15 ingredients to muddle and blend and all of that. This allows you that wow factor with very little effort. So I have two cocktails of the jam variety to make for you today, and I hope you'll enjoy them. So first, we're going to start off with the Southern Jam. Southern Jam is the one I was most excited about because as I researched jam cocktails, most of them used vodka or gin. I'm a bourbon girl, so when I stumbled upon Southern Jam, I was super excited because I was like, oh my gosh, there's one with bourbon. So we're gonna start with the Southern Jam, and of course it's Southern because it has bourbon in it. So we're gonna first start with our shaker. Now, rule of thumb with jam cocktails, and I learned this the hard way, so learn from my mistakes you always, always, always want to shake a jam cocktail. And that's because the jam is so viscous and thick that if you just stir it, all of it's gonna just fall to the bottom and clump up. So you really wanna shake it hard and make sure you dissolve all that jam throughout the cocktail. You also wanna shake and strain because you'll get a lot of the seeds, especially in a raspberry jam, out of the cocktail and so it's not in your glass and you don't have a really nasty mouth filled with seeds and jam. So that's the only rule with a jam cocktail. You must shake. Other than that, you can kind of do what you want, but I'm going to give you two basic ones and I hope you'll give them a try. So Southern Jam, here we go. I've got my shaker. I'm going to fill it with some ice. A little more ice. Then we're going to start with the bourbon. I'm going to use three ounces bourbon, and this is the Malahat bourbon, which is delicious, by the way. One of my favorites. And we just pour this in. Three ounces bourbon. Just got that in there. Then we're going to put in three quarters of an ounce fresh lemon juice. I know squeezing lemon juice is sort of a pain, but it is necessary. Fresh juices make all the difference in really good drinks. So take the time, squeeze a bunch of them, and then that way you just have it in a jar and it's ready to go when you are. So now that we have the lemon juice and our bourbon, now here's something, you with the jam, it does offer sweetness, but if you like your cocktails a little more on the sweeter side, you can add a tad simple syrup. I don't like them super sweet, but for this I will add like a, hmm, a little less than three quarters of an ounce just to give it a little more sweetness because the raspberries tend to be tart. So we just do a little bit and you can always add more according to taste. So if you like it really sweet, feel free to add as much or as little or no simple syrup as possible. So we have that and we're going to add one heaping teaspoon of raspberry jam. And I say heaping because you want to be generous because again, this is your sweetener, this is your flavor. So don't be skimpy. So throw that in there, and we've got that. And then we just want to, after we've got the jam, oh, this also has fresh raspberries. I use organic because if you're eating the skin of a fruit, it's always better to have organic and you don't have all the nasty pesticides, about five. This helps with the color and also just the brightness and the freshness of the cocktail. So now, again, we have to shake. So 
I've got everything in my mixer and in my shaker, and we flat, and then we shake, 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 shake. And you're gonna shake more than you think you should. You're gonna shake until your arms hurt. It's a good bicep workout, so just shake away. And the reason is, again, you wanna dissolve the jam, you wanna get all of that in there so it's all mixed really well. So, after you do that, you've got it all shaken so you fill it. I fill about a double rocks glass because it doesn't make a ton of cocktail, so you don't want to use a big column glass or anything like that. So we do this, we just fill a glass full of ice. Crushed ice is preferable, so if you've got the good ice, I think crushed ice is good ice, definitely use that. It definitely makes the cocktail. And now we have a beautiful, look at that color, raspberry bourbon southern jam cocktail. It is delicious, it is refreshing, and it is definitely going to be a hit at anything you're hosting this summer. Give it a tie. Yeah, bright, you get the berry flavor, you get the lemon. This is so good. I can see myself enjoying several of these, and I hope you'll give this a try too. So we're gonna move on to our next jam cocktail. Yeah. So our second jam cocktail we're gonna make is a vodka base or gin. So if you like vodka or gin, you can interchange them out. So just whatever you've got on hand or whatever you prefer. Now this one is called a jam bramble. And again, we're gonna feature jam. Jam's gonna be the star of the show. And as I mentioned before, you must shake a jam cocktail. So got my shaker in hand. We're gonna fill it up with ice. Well not fill it, but like put a good amount of ice. I'm putting about three scoops. It's like about a little over halfway full. So we've got that and now we're gonna add fresh squeezed lemon juice and like the lemon juice is really good with berries because if you could like make a blueberry pie lemon and blueberries so it's, it's just a really good complement to the berry flavor so that's why it's featured in both cocktails and it just brightens up the citrus just gives you a spark that really helps like wake up the palate a little bit so we're going to use three quarters of an ounce of lemon juice fresh squeezed by the way i cannot stress that enough do the work it's worth it and then next we're going to use vodka. I'm using today Malahat's handcrafted vodka, really good stuff, super smooth. And um, I'm gonna use three ounces of this. So we've got three ounces of vodka. And again, gin will work just as good. It's a little more herbaceous, so you're gonna get more of those juniper notes and herb notes in your cocktail. And if you like that, go for it no harm no foul there so do whatever you like and now we're back to the simple syrup now in this cocktail it is entirely optional um, again it just goes to what you like i like a little bit more sweetness the blackberries are sweeter than the raspberries so you need less um, but i would definitely just use again about half that a little more but that's fine and most people really love this cocktail because of the sweetness it's very summer with a simple syrup, by the way, is just that. It is simple. It is equal parts water, sugar, brought to a boil till it dissolves, let it cool down, and bam, you've got simple syrup. Please do not go buy simple syrup. It literally costs like 10 cents to make versus $3 in a bottle, and it keeps forever in your refrigerator. So again, about five minutes of effort, less, and you've got a great cocktail ingredient that's ready to go anytime you are. So now the star of the show, jam. Blackberry jam. Seedless, if you can find it, is great because it just eliminates that seed annoyance. But if you can't, use the seeds, shake it well, and strain, so no worries. And we're gonna use a heaping tablespoon of blackberry jam. And we're just throw that in there. And I will have all of these cocktail recipes linked in the description box below. So if you're not, you know, if you're missing a component, I will have it all written down below for you so you can feel free to make these drinks at home. So we've got our, our jam, we've got our lemon juice, and we've got our vodka, and we're ready to shake. So again, the key to success here is a good shake. Hold it firm. Look, this is how I do my workout. So we just shake, 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 shake. I usually shake till I start to see the cocktail change color, and you can start to see it turning darker with the jam dissolving, and that's how you know the jam is starting to dissolve. So we've got it, and the glass is, the shaker's all nice and frothy. We have another double rocks glass that we're just gonna put with ice.
and we're going to strain our cocktail. And this is equally as refreshing. And look at the color. And that's how you know that we have done a good job of shaking. You see the disbursement of the jam. There's no big clumps floating to the bottom. That's the sign of a well-shaken cocktail. And now for a sample. This is really good. Super fruity, but bright. And the vodka is really lends a lightness to it that you can drink on a warm summer day. So this summer, while you're out and about, you need something refreshing to cool off, please try a jam cocktail because it's my jam.